Today I want to show you how to protect a password in your Ansible playbook. When you're running your Ansible playbook for your home lab or even a dev at work, it's fine to save your password inside the playbook. But if you move it to the production, saving a password in a clear text in your playbook, it's a security risk. So today I want to show you how to encrypt the password with a functionality vault in your playbook. So I have here a very simple playbook um, and the issue we're trying to resolve is that when it runs against my router, I need to somewhere to store my credentials, so username and password. At the moment, it's saved in my host file and it's just a user admin and password Cisco123. Uh, the playbook, what it does, it, it's just showing the version of the, of the router. It's not important for this lab, the thing which I would like to show you here today is how to protect the password and how to encrypt the password so it's not in a clear text in your Ansible playbook. So let's have a look at the playbook first. So if I look at my folder structure, I have the playbook itself, it's a show version. Then I have the host file, <clears throat> the host file specifying single router for our uh, lab is enough and then variables for the router. So it's iOS. Then we have the user, admin, password, Cisco123, and then the connection is a network CLI. And I also have Ansible uh, config file where I'm specifying where is my host file is because it's not located in a default location for Ansible. If I try and run the playbook, it doesn't do anything fancy. It will just run against the router and it will display the version. So that's all what it does. But how to encrypt the password so it's not in a clear test. Let's have a look. We will first create a um, new file just with the password. We will test the playbook and then we will encrypt it. So if I'm in my folder for the playbook, I will add it a new file. I will call it secret.yaml. In that file, it's a YAML file, I will create a variable which will be called password and then it's the my password for the router which was a Cisco123. So I have a new file with a variable password. Now I need to go to my host file and here remove the password and tell the file that it's a variable. So in a curly bracket and, and the variable name was a password. So I have the variable, that's all good. I have a new file. The last thing I need to do is in my playbook, I need to specify that I have a new variable file. So the playbook knows that it needs to look into it. So simple as variable files and the name is secret.yaml. Yeah, so that should be it. So I have a playbook, it's got its name. I specify the new file for the variables, which is a secret.yaml. Um, when the playbook runs, it runs against the host in, in a YAML file called routers. If we have a look, routers, yes, there's a single host that it's fine. Uh, we don't collect any facts. And then I have task itself. The task has got a name. It calls the collection iOS commands, showing the show version, including a version. That's a command like you would use on a CLI on your, on your router. And then it's just the option to register the output so I can see the output on my screen and it prints the output on my screen. Now, I need to save the files I've just created. Great stuff. So now I'll get rid of this error message. If I, write the, if I run the playbook again, it should run even uh, remove the password from the host file, replace it with the um, variable and creating a new file. So let's have a look. Yeah, so it's working. So we have a new file with the password. So obviously this is still not secure. Yes, because you're still running. You still have a password in a clear text. We'll 
change to this file where is the password set. Now, <clears throat> I will now uh, encrypt uh, the file. So, Ansible Vault Encrypt and <clears throat> it was secret.yaml. So I'm calling the ansible dash world. I'm telling to encrypt the file and which file I want to encrypt. So I want to encrypt this file with the password. Now, when I hit the enter, I will be prompted for the create a new password for the encryption. So let's have a look, Click enter. Yes, the new world password. So you create a new password. In my case, it's a lab, I will just create ansible123. It will ask me to confirm the password. Now, as you could see on my screen, the file was encrypted. You can see it's changed from clear text to encrypted. Now, if I try to run the playbook again, it should fail because the file is encrypted and Ansible doesn't know how, how to decrypt it. So let's have a try again. So same playbook, Ansible-playbook, show version. Unfortunately, can't run. It even tells you attempting to decrypt, but not vault secret found. So the way to get around it is ansible-playbook and it is ask vault. So ask for the vault password and uh, you run the playbook, so it was show version. Now, if you run this command, the Ansible, before it will run it, it will ask you for the password you created for Ansible Vault. Let's see if it does that. Yes, so in my case was Ansible123. And the playbook is running and it runs successfully. We can see the version of the, of the router. The main difference is that now, if someone goes and access your playbook, for example, you store it at your Git and it's public, or even if you have it at the work but it's production and you want to um, hide the passwords for your, for your devices, uh, the user will not be able to see it. He would have to have the vault password to decrypt the file, to access the variable inside the file and then run the playbook. That's a stage one. You can also do something like uh, store the password for the vault in a separate file. And for example, have uh, the playbooks in a GitHub and have the password for the vault saved somewhere locally or uh, on a local network. So those files are not in the same GitHub repository. No one can get to those. So if someone get to your playbook, he will not know the password. So this is how simple it is to protect the password if you're running the playbooks in a, in a production and you want to hide the password to access your network devices. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.